let's take question number 3 of section 2 let gamma denotes a curve which is in the first quadrant and a point 1 0 is lying on it tangent to this curve at a point p intersects y axis at y p the length p y p is given to us as one unit we have to choose the correct options so let's first plan the curve here we can say x axis and y axis can be drawn in this fashion say x axis y axis then let's draw a curve like this right then draw a tangent to this curve at point say p mark this one as p and here y p now we can start this question as tangent at p can be written y minus y equals dy by dx into x minus x in order to find coordinates for y p we can put capital x equals 0 this gives us 0 comma y minus x dy by dx or say simply y dash now length p y p is given to us as one unit since mod say p y p that is i am talking about length is one so let us find the distance between the two points p and y p and square up this gives you x square plus x y dash with a negative sign square is equal to one or y dash square is 1 minus x square upon x square from here we obtain the differential equation y dash is equal to plus minus square root of 1 minus x square upon x so if we look at the options we can see that option a and b appears to be the correct one but when you talk about options a and b here one more important point given the curve is lying in the first quadrant there is a possibility it can play some significant role let us solve first these two differential equations before marking the answer so plus minus dy is equal to square root of 1 minus x square upon x dx if i put 1 minus x square as t square i can simplify it as plus minus y is equal to integral here we can see this becomes minus x dx is equal to t dt so we need to multiply here x and divide by the same so it becomes t square with a negative sign upon 1 minus t square dt plus constant of integration now moving ahead we can write it as integral 1 minus t square minus 1 upon 1 minus t square dt plus constant of integration so integrating we get plus minus y equals t minus half log 1 plus t upon 1 minus t plus constant of integration put the value of t here and pass this curve through 1 comma 0 to get the value for c so here we have plus minus y equals square root of 1 minus x square minus half log 1 plus root 1 minus x square upon 1 minus root 1 minus x square plus c when you pass it through 1 comma 0 you obtain c as 0 as it is passing through 1 comma 0 right so here we get plus minus y is equal to root 1 minus x square minus when you rationalize it you will be getting as half log 1 plus root 1 minus x square upon x whole square that is clear so here we are getting finally root 1 minus x square minus log 1 plus root 1 minus x square upon x no need to write the modulus as curve is lying in the first quadrant so x is positive now you get two solutions plus y equals something and minus y equals something you have to be very wise as the curve is lying in the first quadrant when you check here plus y 
is equal to this term you observe it is not lying in the first quadrant when you check here with the minus y is equal to this one you obtain the curve is lying in the first quadrant. So, clearly the correct answer is minus y equals root of 1 minus x square minus log 1 plus root 1 minus x square by x or y equals log this term minus root 1 minus x square. When you say this is the curve, so obviously you have to find the differential equation as well. It would be minus dy equals root 1 minus x square upon x into dx. So, from the given options when you observe you can see option B and option C these are our correct answers while A and D are not. So, this is clear let us move on to the next question of this section. In a non right angled triangle PQR let PQR denote the lengths of sides opposite to the angles PQR median from R meets the side PQ at S the perpendicular from P meets the side QR at E and RS and PE intersect at O this is given. Some lengths are given as P is root 3 Q is 1 radius of the circumcircle of triangle PQR is 1 then which of the following options is are correct. So, let us first draw the triangle we can draw the triangle in this fashion PQR correct. Now, it is given that from P when you draw it is perpendicular right. Now, from R you have drawn a median this is what given to us in our data let us check again. From R meets the side P Q at S this was median and the perpendicular from P meets the side Q R at E length P is given root 3 length P is given as root 3 length q is given as 1 that is clear. Now, if I apply sin rule here I can say root 3 upon sin p is equal to 1 upon sin q is equal to r upon sin r is equal to 2 capital R that is radius of the circumcircle. So, is equal to 2. So, from here I obtain sin p is equal to root 3 by 2 and sin q is equal to 1 by 2. So, possibility for p it is pi by 3 and 2 pi by 3 while for q it is pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6 this point is clear ok. Now, when you say q is say 5 pi by 6 when you take q as 5 pi by 6 obviously it is not possible because none of the two values are possible to make a triangle. So, clearly q should be pi by 6 also it is given it is non right angle if you take pi by 3 and pi by 6 here. So, you will find that it is going to give me third angle as 90 degree meaning pi by 3 is also not possible. So, we get the value for p and we get the value for q and from here we can also conclude r as pi by 6 that is clear. So, angle q and angle r both are pi by 6. So, this is 1 meaning this is also 1. So, it becomes isosceles triangle another important thing when it is isosceles. So, this becomes median as well. So, I can say this one equal to the other part here this length is 1. So, this is half and this is half this is root 3 by 2 this is root 3 by 2. Now, let us talk about the options what we are looking for area of the triangle SOE ok. So, SOE triangle is required we will talk about it later second option length of RS that is the median RS they are talking about and length of median is given by half root when you are talking about RS. So, this is 2 P square plus 2 Q square minus R square. So, from here you can say 2 into 3 that is 6 plus 2 into 1 that is 2 minus 1. So, this gives you root 7 divided by 2 as my answer meaning option B is the correct one. Length of OE, OE meaning one third of this length because this is clearly median as well. So, OE is simply one third of the median PE median PE means 1 by 2 of root of 1 into 2 
plus 1 into 2 minus 3. So, it is 2 plus 2 minus 3. So, this is giving me 1 by 6 meaning option C is also correct. That is clear. Now, radius of encircle of triangle is required. How we define radius? It is simply defined by area of triangle divided by semi perimeter. So, a small r or say radius because a small r is used for other term as well. Radius of encircle is equal to area of the triangle. Area of the triangle can be defined simply half root 3 into P e because P e is also known to us as we have obtained P e over here as 1 by 2 into 1 that is half. So, let us write the area of the triangle half into half into root 3 divided by semi perimeter that is half into 1 plus 1 plus root 3. So, half and half cancelled we are left with root 3 into 2 minus root 3 divided by 2. This is the radius of in circle. Let us check out root 3 by 2, 2 minus root 3 is given as option. So, this is also correct. Last that is the option A which is talking about area of triangle SOE. Let us plan this one. SOE, we know that this is also one third of the median. This is one third of the median OE we already obtained. If we can find SE, we can plan the area of the triangle. This point is clear. How we can plan SE length? SE length can be planned using the concept that half root 3 by 2 and this angle is 30 degree. This is clear. So, from here we can find length SE. Once obtained length SE, you can check that area of the triangle obtained is different. So, the correct answers for this question are B, C and D. Let us move on to the next one that is question number 5.